Hello and welcome to the newsroom. I am Tamilore Akinkolie and these are the stories we are following at the moment. The federal government at the federal high court sitting in Lagos State has applied to withdraw the illegal possession of firearms case it filed against the suspended Central Bank of Nigeria CBN Governor Godwin Emefiele. The Director of Public Prosecution DPP at the Federal Ministry of Justice, Mohamed Abubakar, in an oral application told Justice Nicholas Owebe that the application followed the result of further investigations. He also added that the federal government is filing a first 20 count charge at the federal Capital Territory I caught against the suspended CBN governor. The Nigeria National Petroleum Company Limited has assured Nigerians that it has no intention to increase the pump price of petrol. The company made this known on its official social media handle on Monday. This comes after oil marketers indicated the cost of petrol will rise to between 618 naira per litre and 720 naira per litre in the coming weeks should the dollar continue to trade from 910 naira to 950 at the parallel market. The forum of the former deputy governors have appealed to the leadership of the All Progressive Congress to ensure that they are accorded recognition as members of the National Executive Committee neck of the party. The forum, which was led by the former deputy governor of Imo State, Chris Akumas, says its members have expertise and experience that the party could benefit from. The former national chairman of the party, Abdullahi Adamo, also assured of the forum's determination to eliminate conflicts between governors and their deputies. An oil marketer says the foreign exchange crisis in Nigeria and the recent implementation of 7.5% value-added tax on automotive gas oil, popularly called diesel, has pushed up to the cost of the commodity to between 900 naira and 950 naira per litre in many states. The marketer says the inability to assess dollar impedes their ability to import diesel, which may lead to the closure of some factories and job losses. And United States Secretary of State Antony Blinken has commended President Bola Tinobu's leadership of the Economic Community of West African State ECOWAS to restore constitutional order in Nigeria Republic. According to a statement released by U.S. State Department, Blinken spoke with the President via phone call on Monday and re-emphasized the importance of maintaining pressure on National Council of Safeguard of the Homeland to restore constitutional order and to see President Mohamed Bazou and his family released. Eden Sport League One Club Reading is currently working on a loan to move for Nigerian forward Paul Mukairo. Reading had established contact with Mukairo's club, FC Copenhagen, with a view to finalize the deal. The 23-year-old has not appeared in any of Copenhagen's seven games this season and has also been excluded from the squad for tonight's UFO Champions League qualifying features against Sparta Prague. And that's all on the newsroom at this moment. Join us again for more updates.